Hi guys, so what I'm going to show you today is our catio. Uh, we decided to build this outdoor cat enclosure after Zenny went missing for three months and thankfully we found him five miles away. Um, somebody saw a flyer and decided to call us and we are so grateful. So we decided that instead of letting our cats out during the day, and we always brought them in at night, that we would build a cat enclosure so they could still experience the outdoors, but be safe while doing it. So you can see, uh, it actually all started when we bought the house, there was already a cat door in the home. Um, and so that's what we went ahead and we continued to use that and build around that. We have a rose window. And when we first decided to build this, um, both Josh and Hans thought that going above the windows was a bad idea and it was gonna be too big. Um, but it absolutely isn't. I'll show you the inside views in a little bit. Um, what, and we have three cats, just so you know. Um, what's great about this is that there's three levels. You have the bottom level we capped that sprinkler, but we have another sprinkler in here that does go off at 5 a.m. We've got two outdoor lighting um, that that stay um, that stayed. We just built around those as well. So this bottom la layer, there's a um, this is just a rabbit hutch that we bought. Um, it, this is works as their outdoor litter box, but they also just like to go in the dirt. And you'll see I painted a window. They can go behind the window if they want um, to hide or have some privacy. And there's also a little house, if you can see it. Um, it's, uh, it was for a stray cat that we had, that we no longer have. So that's a waterproof house. So they can explore this bottom area, which they love and they love to roll around in the dirt. And then they have the middle level. So, We've got, this is a favorite here, a um, little cat uh, lounge area. And you can see they actually do walk along this, um, these very narrow pieces of wood. And we also put a, right outside the living room window, we put another shelf so they could hang out and see inside if they wanted to. And that is also a big hit. And then up top, we have another layer and I'll show you. They get up there most of the time by climbing up that ramp and then they can either jump onto the bridge or onto the shelf or that is around the fireplace or onto this shelf here. And what we did is we didn't attach anything to the house. We built, we built um, a frame all the way around it. So. Um, it can be removed. There is nothing actually in the house. We didn't damage that at all. Um, let's see, and there also is another, and one of Shrimpy's favorite places is actually above the rose window, and that is also covered by, um, so they, they hang out there when it's raining. And all in all, it's been a really amazing, wonderful addition um, that makes us feel safe and secure and improves their quality of life. Also, you'll see that we did add a door here. It's a full size door that we keep a latch on. Sometimes I put some food and water out here for them. So we can go in there and I do every week or two and I kind of clean up the, the potty um, if necessary. And also just to get to the plants and the windows and, and whatnot. And so again, everyone thought it was pretty crazy that we were gonna build it so high and over the windows. But what happened is that we, <laughs> you know, the rose window for us really just looked out to our driveway and our covered car here. Uh, so now when we look out the rose window, it's, it's awesome. When we see the cats out there lounging or playing, um, it really is, it's fun for, for us just as much as it is them. And here's from the living room side of things. 
And that little lantern is just solar powered, so there's a, provides a little bit more light. And here you'll see a better view of the ramp that they can jump up. We'll have to get some cat models. They are actually currently in our other catio, which I will also create another video. So anyway. Come here, Sage. Anna. Sage just woke up. <laughs> Come here, honey. And the stuff that we have here, the plants were all there. We did add some catnip plants that the cats have now eaten. Um, hopefully they grow back here in a bit. But And then this is the rocks and the antler that's upside down. Um, you know, just things that, that we had there already. Do you want to jump up here? Show us how it's done. Thank mm -hmm. you. 